Come on in, guys. Today we have another challenge, simply called Section Pole. Like always, you'll be playing for immunity and reward. Today's reward is a hot meal, pizza, delivered to your campsite with ice cold pop. Like normal, losers will have to go to tribal and vote somebody off. First, you'll have to choose one person from each tribe to swim out and retrieve your pole sections. When you get them back, you'll then assemble a long pole to retrieve three rings. Once you retrieve those rings, you'll head out into a canoe without a paddle, across the bog, and grab a tire marked with your tribe's color. The first one to bring that back will win immunity and reward. I'll give you a moment to strategize, and we'll get started. Alethea, you're sitting two people out. All right, on your mark, get set, go. In the water will be Grant for Diakoneo and Jane for Alethea. Grant and Jane are neck and neck. This is very difficult when you're so tired and hungry. This is a very close race. Both coming out of the water at the same time with their bag. Both teams untying their knots and getting to work on their poles. A little patience early could pay off big in this challenge. Red has a first one hook. Can they bring it back? <laughs> Alethea gets their first ring. Diakoneo gets their first ring. <laughs> Alethea rethinking how can they use all the resources. Alethea knocks one to the ground. Can they bring it back? After about 45 minutes, both teams still focused on the goal.
in their second ring. And Grant knocks down his second ring. So close. Althea now using their pole like a whip. Dakaneo decides to use a couple more resources. Slowly bringing it home. Making this a tight race. Awesome. Oh. And Rick knocks his third ring loose. Oh yeah, Ricky. Alethea trying to drag that third ring home. We're so happy right now, Rick. <laughs> and they have all three heading out into the canoe first. Jane just deciding to swim. Dakane not giving up. It's not done yet. And Althea grabbing their tire. Daikaneo still working hard, not giving up at all. And with that, Althea wins immunity and reward. This has really been an amazing day. Uh, Team Truth has won both challenges, and I'm not sure why, but it has been really fun uh, to watch them really work together uh, in today's challenge. Both teams did a fantastic job of not getting panicky and not yelling at each other. They just kept at their work and uh, were just real respectful of each other. So it was awesome to see Team Truth uh, came away with the win on this one, and, uh, and they're really, really happy. We kind of tried to listen to each other and be as patient as we could to be open on what we were doing. We're all blessed that we could have gotten stuff like that. Like, I'm very proud that we won, and it's it's very rewarding for all that we've been through. One of the things that's been surprising to me is that uh, they have been talking amongst themselves as to who to vote off if that should have to happen. And uh, they haven't quite gotten the concept yet that making alliances, trying to uh, cover each other's back, may in the long run hurt them. So we'll talk about servant attitude a little bit more in Bible study. Uh, we're all pretty sad right now on the camp because we have to like hold one more person and we had a, a really tight knit group right now so I mean that's pretty disappointing. We're all really liking uh, starting to get to know each other and liking each other but I'd honestly be happy if the other two won and moved on instead of me. I think all three of them are really, they got what it takes uh, to stay in. It makes it a really tough decision but uh, last night uh, our tribe went through Matthew 6, the end of it. It's one of my favorite passages, um, talking about how 
worrying about food and clothing and shelter, um, they don't worrying about it doesn't do anything. Um, God provides, and uh, he, if He cares for the smallest of things on earth, um, He'll also care for us. Um, so those holding on to those truths have been really helpful. The Bible studies out here have been amazing. Uh, J.A., our tribe coach, has done a great job leading us through scriptures, and we've kind of found scriptures that fit each situation we've been in. And it's pretty awesome, you know, I mean, we uh, we were low on food. We didn't know if we were going to eat that night necessarily because we wanted to try and save our rice. We go out there, and we're fishing for maybe half an hour, and we say, all right, this is our last cast, and we catch a big fish. And that was our food for the night. So that was pretty awesome. Just seeing how he worked through that, and don't worry about food, I will provide for you. I feel like I grew stronger in my faith as well, just to really know that, uh, just to know that you really can endure through these kind of things, and that God is always in control. I don't know, tonight I'm going to volunteer because I really want our camp to go on. Yeah, Grant and Alex, they're just, they're just such incredible people, I, yeah, and I can see them doing better in the one-on-one -on -one challenges, so I'm going to volunteer and see how far they can get going. He's roaring like a lion Welcome back to Tribal. So how's it going so far? Good. Yeah. How do you think this last challenge went? Yeah. 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 We gave it our all again. Yeah. What happened? We just had a bad strategy. Yep. Bad, but... We kind of messed up one pull from the start and then we didn't take the time to go back and fix that one until it was too late. So yeah. it's kind of that one week's one comes back. Do you think it's the people in your tribe, or just the challenges? Nice challenges. Yeah. We're giving it our all. Yeah, that's honestly all we can ask for. How's the morale around camp? It's pretty sad right now. Yeah, oh, we don't want to get rid of another person. It's three of them pretty tight. Well, we were all pretty tight. Five was the start. So I'm mean, losing two people already. Yeah. So, so. I'm sure since you guys are so close as a tribe, you'd be happy to see others tribe going. I volunteer, so. Are you sure you want to do that? I feel like they can go on further. You don't think you can beat these guys? Um, hard to say, but I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like they got to some good say she's strong. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's got just as much, if not more, as all. Would you let it go to a boat? I would. You wouldn't. I am happy. I'm actually fine. Alex, how do you feel about it? It makes things easier, but at the same time, it just... like, part of the process. So are you doing this for yourself or for them? I'm doing it, I think I'm doing it for them, because I honestly think we'll do better in the individual challenges, and they're just such strong people, so I think we'll be great. Grant, how do you feel? I'm sad. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Well, like I said, we all got tight. I was expecting you to vote, so I'm kind of, I'm surprised. I thought you would keep going, but I get watch this. Okay, I guess that's it. Well, another solid tribe member gone. You guys got to figure this out. 
I'm about him, but I think I can say that we're pretty strong and neither of us are going to quit. Okay. Okay, that's what I want to hear. You guys can head back to camp. Have a good night. <laughs>